He who have ears to hear, let him hear. Right, so our Lord, he emphasizes how important it is to not uh, fight amongst each other and have peace with one another. And this is very important because it shows the heathen, it shows the world who are his true followers and who's not, man. Okay, so very important that, you know, we don't try to put each other down and try to be greater than each other. You know, you do have a lot of doctrines and a lot of people that that's their whole doctrine is just to try to be better than each other. They mention each other names and they put each other down, right? Our Lord did teach us and show us how to deal with each other uh, when we do have a disagreement with each other. You know, we're supposed to bring, uh, if our brother is offended in, in what we say, right, we're supposed to bring uh witnesses one or two more witnesses and this is to show that we're not to debate but there's nothing wrong with um trying to uh show your brother and try to strengthen him and try to uh burn off the impurities that he may have you know and it's a good thing to try to do that and, and to put it out and and to speak but it's not good to put your brother down um you know like public public publicly right and purposely you know uh our lord did tell us if um you know if he doesn't listen to us that we uh cast it off at cast him off as a heathen but in a smaller sense of casting him off as a heathen we can cast off our disagreement you know and kind of forget about it if the two or three references that we give to each other if we don't come to an agreement you know, we don't have to cast each other completely off uh, at first, you know. Uh, if it gets too bad, then yes, it's better to uh, go ahead and uh, just kind of get away from each other until, you know, that light of God shines on one of us and or each of us, actually, so that, you know, we can come back together in agreement. Because we're supposed to uh, receive, you know, this word man like little children so we're supposed to be with each other as little children looking look at little children man they're not coming to the playground to fight each other or to uh you know become enemies with each other they're they're looking to you know be friends with each other to have peace with each other to play together okay so we are to receive uh each other as little children and not try to you know, desire to be over top of each other and uh, leaders of each other, right? So, you know, um, yeah, man, uh, the thing is, is that, you know, we are going to be offended in some of our uh, doctrines that we all put out, right? So, I say if you do cast the brother out as a heathen, uh, it's not good to... When you do speak to the church and you speak to other people and you tell about the thing that went wrong, we're not going to put him down personally, but we are going to um, put down the things that are being said if they're wrong, right? And and that's the fire that can correct him later, man. And that's why the Lord told us, you know, to you know not to look on each other with offense, right? So we're not supposed to look on our brother. Uh, to want to hurt him or want to beat him if we look on him uh our brothers to want to hurt them we're supposed to cut out our eyes if we want to uh, beat them or kick them you cut off your legs you cut off your arms it's, so you can see how important it really is for us to have peace with each other right so you gotta understand that the lord said man that when you're tried with fire there is going to be fire so when we're speaking you know it can either cleanse we can either help and cleanse each other, but if our brother is offended or if we ourselves get offended, it brings us down to hell, man. And that's why the Lord want us to cut these things out and uh, do our best to not purposely offend each other. Now, we can't help if the word offends somebody. As the Lord says, man, that everyone shall be salted with fire, right? So when we speak, people might not like what they hear. Right, but it's best for us to humble ourselves, go back and make sure that our brother may be speaking the right things. There's a chance that he is saying something that you may have missed. I mean, the the word of God, um, 
it's a it's a deep ocean, man. It's it's a lot of knowledge in this, and we can miss some things. Our brothers can see it differently. You know, that's the salt. That's why you know the Lord says, uh, "The salt, you are the salt of the earth," because we have different styles. This salt it brings out the flavor of the meat of the lamb, right? So the the Lord says that every sacrifice shall be salted with salt, meaning every uh, meat offering, every doctrine, everything that we speak. Um, it's going to be exposed the, the taste of it is going to be exposed To the public To the Lord So it's not really for us to even try to put our brothers down Because his doctrine is going to be exposed And if it's a good doctrine You know Then the Lord is going to uh, use it as an offering It's going to be a, a sweet smelling You know offering to the Lord And he's going to accept it if it's not a good offering, all right, the Lord is either going to burn it up and, and just uh, cast off some of the impurities or it's going to be completely burned in the fire and destroyed, man. So, you know, everything's going to be salted with salt. Everything's going to be salted with fire, right? And that's how the Lord likes his offerings with salt, right? With your style. That's your style. That's the salt. Okay. And, uh, you know, go ahead and put that out there. But, you know, let's not be offending each other. Let's have uh, peace with each other, man. And um, try to find the good things, just like children. You know, they're trying to find the good in each other. They're trying to find the good things. You know, nothing wrong with correcting each other again. There's nothing wrong with correcting, especially a brother that's going to listen. Always feel free to correct a brother like that, you know. And it's good to go ahead and put... You know, even your thing out there, right? Uh, would you believe so that you can be corrected also? So it's kind of good to go ahead and just jump off the cliff and say, okay, this is what I believe, blah, blah, blah. But always stand to be corrected because your brother can also be the one coming to correct you, you know, with his salt. Because everybody, everybody's going to be salted with fire. So either that fire can burn off impurities or that fire, it can bring you down to hell all right so like i said man very important for us all right i'm not saying anybody else i don't know about the world i'm not talking about the world but i'm talking about us who love believe trust in god right to have peace with each other and hey that's what it's all about man the heathens will follow too god bless